I'm Davey, and I'm awesome. And welcome to Davey's Awesome Stories, where I tell funny stories from my past or go on a rant in an effort to make you laugh. So the last couple weeks, I've talked about sleeping issues. I've talked about people who talk in their sleep. I've talked about how sometimes I don't snap back into reality. I talk about sleep a lot because I love sleep. Sleeping is one of my favorite things to do. But I'm not that good at it. Maybe you guys will relate to this, but I'm always trying to catch up on sleep, and I never do. Now part of that, yes, is just life, like everybody else. I gotta watch the kids while my wife is at work, and then they wake me up while I'm trying to sleep, and then I gotta go to work, plus I'm hustling to get this YouTube channel off the ground. But one extra problem that I have is when this is all done, the YouTube videos are edited and uploaded, the kids are quiet, I have to be at work for like five to six hours, trying to go to sleep, and my freaking brain will not let me go to sleep. I think it's become pretty clear that I'm very introverted, I live in my own head, which one of the things that really sucks about that is my brain sometimes just will not shut up and let me go to sleep. Like seriously, we all know that feeling. Your body's tired, everything's tired, and some of you I have found you can sit there and basically go, okay brain, time for me to go to sleep now. And your brain will respond, oh, okay, no problem. I'll just shut down so you can get some sleep. And I've met people that just really don't understand how my brain works because that's exactly what they do. They just lay down, let themselves drift off, and five to ten minutes later, they're asleep. I've even met people who've actually had the nerve to say to me, Oh, I'm out the moment my head hits the pillow. Oh, frickin' screw you. Because that's not how it goes for me. I have to get my brain to shut off. I basically have to trick my brain into thinking, no, I'm not tired, I don't want to go to sleep, until it goes, okay. Well, since he's not trying to go to sleep, guess I'll just take it a little bit easy. Until unknowingly, it accidentally shuts down. That's the only way I get to go to sleep. Some of you may ask, how do you do that? Well, I put something on TV that I've seen probably a hundred times. That way I'm not gonna be that interested in it. Don't put something on you've never seen. Don't put something on you've only seen like once and was really good. Don't put something on that is really good because then your brain is gonna be like, no, 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 I wanna see what happens. Or I sit there and I'll play bakery treasure until my brain is like, okay, enough. Yeah, this is torture, it sucks. I hate that I have to trick my brain into falling asleep. Because here's the problem, if my brain catches me, if it's ever like, hey, 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 are you trying to go to sleep? What? No, no, I'm not trying to go to sleep. I think you are. I'm not, I'm not, I swear. I wanna watch this. I've only seen it 50 times. You were trying to go to sleep. I swear to you, I wasn't, I swear. Don't lie to me. Okay, fine brain. I wanna go to sleep. I'm tired, and if I fall asleep now, I can sleep for about six hours. I didn't even try to ask you for eight. I'm realistic. I understand that's not gonna happen. But at least six hours, please. Just, just let me go to sleep. I just really want to. Been working all day. It's been rough. The kids were acting up. I'm exhausted. I just want to go to sleep. Okay. But first, I want you to do something for me. Oh God. What? I want you to start thinking about everything that's bothering you right now. So that's what happens. Your brain starts going through everything that's bothering you. From what's going on in your daily life at work, to the issue you're having with your kid that they just won't listen to you about, all the way up to things that are just completely out of your control, like rising gas prices. But you get through it all, you feel even more crappy, now you're not only physically tired, you're emotionally tired. So you're like, okay brain, I did what you asked. Thought about everything that's been bothering me for a while, can I please go to sleep? Really? Everything? Yeah, everything. Really? Because I don't remember you thinking about your dead mother. Oh, come on, brain. Of course that still bothers me, but she's been gone for four years. I don't care if it's been four years. That should have been the very first thing you thought about. Oh no, we're not going to do this, are we? Oh yes. You think about your mother. And while you're at it, feel guilty for not thinking of her sooner. Right now, everybody who's had a parent that's been gone for a few years, you relate to this. So you do that. You think about your parent that has been gone for a while, and you feel guilty that you didn't think about them and how much that bothered you sooner. Doesn't matter how long it's been, because according to your brain, that still should have been number one. 
That's just what your brain loves to do. It loves to taunt you that. How dare you move on? And the fact that you could move on means you must not have loved them that much. And you feel guilty for a while. But you get through it. And you get to a point where, okay, done with that. Like you wanted, brain. I'm tired. If you would just leave me alone. Right now, I could sleep for about five hours. Please. Let me go to sleep. You remember that bully you had in sixth grade? Oh, no. Yeah. Think about that. Think about what you wish you could have done. Except for the fact that his six friends were always hanging around. And of course, the fact that you're not Bruce Lee. That's the thing, Brain. I couldn't do anything about it. They were all bigger and stronger than me, and there were seven of them. Yes, but think about how horrible it always made you feel. So you do. You think about it. Then you get through it. And you're like, okay, Brain, enough. Let me sleep. You know how the peanut is not really a nut, but a legume? Yeah, I know. So? Well, why did they call it a peanut? Why not a pegume? Huh. That's a good point. Why didn't they call it a pegume? They knew it wasn't a nut. That's interesting, Brain. Hmm. Text that to yourself so you remember to put it in a video. Oh, come on, Brain. If I reach over and grab my phone, it's going to make me wide awake. Instead of the state I'm in right now where... The moment you shut up, I could drift off. Come on. But it needs to go in a video. Okay, so can't you just remind me about that later? <laughs> I think we both know I won't. Fine. Why do they call it a peanut? If it's a legume, shouldn't it be a pegume? There, Brain. You happy? I've done everything you've asked. Okay? I thought about everything that's bothering me right now. I thought about my mother and what a crappy son I was for not thinking of her sooner. I thought about the bully in sixth grade, even though I'm almost 40 and it's a little pathetic that I'm still doing that. I thought about the fact that they misnamed a peanut and I texted it to myself. Can you please shut up and leave me alone and let me go to sleep? Because seriously, if you let me fall asleep in the next few minutes, I can get almost four hours of sleep. I've been checking. Please, let me go to sleep. Imagine what Chewbacca would look like if somebody had shaved all of his hair off. Now I can't not think about that. God, brain, I hate you. Not as much as I hate you. And this is why I don't sleep a lot. So there you have it. That's my story video this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to hit like. Hit subscribe. Hit that little bell so you get notifications for when I post new videos. And leave a comment. Tell me what your brain does to you when you're trying to go to sleep. Love you guys.